just like that. So fucking row ripping, mate. Welcome back. So, uh, yeah, tasting time. So, I hope you've all had a really good Christmas. Um, because <clears throat> I have. It was alright, it was good. So, what are we here for today? Something I've been really excited about. So, remember the brew day? It's finally the tasting. Look at that little beauty, look at that. It's top of the blood, actually. Right, so oatmeal style, brewed it once before, uh, did it the other year. So, uh, what can I tell you? Right, so first of all, I'll go through the recipe again. So, oatmeal style, the unlikely addition of oats to this beer is going to make your stout smooth, creamy, and without affecting the flavour too much. It sounds like an ambitious beer to brew, but it isn't. It's a tasty one, though. Gotta agree with that. So, original gravity should have been 1062, I got 1056, I went for a full uh, mash. Um, and the final gravity should have been 1016, I got 1010. Um, should have come out at 6%. Well, 6 My gravity readings was a bit different, but it still came out like that, so I'm happy with that. Um, obviously, boil for 60 minutes. I ended up with 20 litres in the fermenter. Uh, the ingredients was 4 kilo of pale ale malt, 400 grams of crystal, 400 grams of chocolate uh, malt and 450 grams of rolled oats. Um, hops was supposed to be East Kent Golden, 60 minutes, I used Magnum. New yeast, one pack of English L yeast, I went for the Wilco's Gaven yeast, uh, which is not a male, um, a well known English L yeast, which is really good. Um, fermented out in six days. Um, I bottled and bagged it on Christmas Eve. Um, so this is actually pretty young. Um, but because it's on the end pull, obviously you don't need to wait for it to be cab because it's pretty obvious. So I mean, look at that little a few little bubbles in there. Nice cream yet. Let's see if we can focus just. On So, let's go in for the aroma. Right. So I'm picking up some coffee in there, a little bit of chocolate, not a lot. Well, at the minute anyway. What are we looking at? Finger and a half, head, two fingers almost. But just pure, pure dark. You, just, you, you can't see through that at all. So, uh, yeah, let's go for the taste and see what we've got. Cheers. It's a killer baby. I put a spell on you, son. What can you say? So. So I've been wanting to brew a and ample for ages. Like it's just what can you say? It's it's made me pretty happy. <laughs> yeah. Um so you get that bit of bitterness from the coffee in there, like the roast the chocolate malts. But then you've got the smoothness from the head. Um So that's a pretty thick mouthfeel that it's pretty thick to be fair um, but yeah you get this bit of bitterness from the chocolate malts you're picking up some of the crystal in there not really picking up a hoppiness as such which you don't really expect too much with stouts um, but yeah you're picking up some real roasty notes in there coffiness the chocolate it's just, yeah, it works so well. 
as I say, he is young, so he needs a bit of time to age, like to mature out. I've got about what, 15 odd bottles, and then I've got 10 litres in the bag, so it's going to have a good bit of time just to mature out. Um, but yeah, I've been wanting to brew stout for absolutely ages for Hample, and yeah, do you know what? I'm so glad that I did. And I actually had a couple last night, like I say, it, was, it is young, but Christmas time, winter, stout, yes please. <laughs> and I mean, it's just, it's, it might not be everybody's cup of tea because of like, you know, the coffiness and the, you know, the bitterness, like the roasting oats, but if you love dark beers, you know, something with that roastiness and, you know, something that's something I won't say warm but something you can enjoy in a cold night maybe from like a log fire yeah brew one I won't say you can even better on ample so uh try to get yourself one as I keep saying it just gets smoother as it goes down but I mean look at the lacing that's leaving just I'll be brewing another stout at some point. I'm considering doing a salted caramel stout in the new year, and maybe a cherry one, a few bits like that. Um, but no, that is brilliant. If you've not actually seen this recipe, it's in that book. I've only it's the oatmeal stout is actually the only beer that I brewed out there, but it's, it's got a few others in there, a few other recipes. But but yeah, that's that is definitely one to try. If you love anything like that, but uh, absolutely gorgeous brew lad. Can't wait for that to age. Got a few of these to send out as beer mails and that go to people. And um, it might be a bottle, but I hope they enjoy it as much as I am. But uh, that's beautiful. I want a little top up actually. If you have nitro for corny cake, you do get that settling effect. But I mean, just look at it. It's beautiful. The way it's just settling out. Yeah, there. Nice fit, kid. Need a flake of some on that. But uh, no, hope you're all well. Anyway, um, I will have another video coming out maybe in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm hoping to brew again, like a special bitter recipe that I put together, well, and fully put together. I've had a bit of help off uh, Red Dog Brewer, John. Um, so yeah, it's a beer that I'm going to try out. Let's say it's between a normal bitter and a special bitter, so should be an interesting one. But I hope you've enjoyed this video anyway, guys. Um, I say, I hope you had a good Christmas. And uh, if I don't see you before, Happy New Year to everyone. Um, have a very prosperous New Year. Oh, and uh, if you want, thank you to the new subscribers, by the way. I appreciate you all as much as I do all my subscribers. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you're, not, if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. I want to, I'd want i love to get to 200 subs before the end of the year. I'm at 172, so 200 before the end of the year would be, that would be nice. So, uh, yeah, if you want hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment on the video and uh, yeah, happy new year to you all and uh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this now and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time so uh, take it easy guys and uh, keep brewing, keep drinking, be merry because I'm going to have a mince pie now <laughs> so uh, yeah, cheers everybody for watching and uh, all the best for the new year as well cheers, see you next time yeah